Okay, so this is something I've been thinking about for a minute now. When I used to live in Jersey, I promise you, with everything that I was going through with my family, my son's dad's, the, the stalking and all of that, I have moved to every county that I could. And New Jersey has a lot of counties. <laughs> and it didn't matter because once you get a utility bill or something, your name, you know, <sighs> people like to have their family members that work in banks, check out where you live at, you know. They like to have their friends that work at phone companies, check out. Your, your family information and see which text message is mentioning you. You know, back at the time when you could see people text messages, I don't know if you could do that now. Because I know I used to call, like, maybe like, uh, I don't remember how many years ago, but I remember I had called one time and I was like, how can I get my text messages? And, you know. But, yeah, they, that's, what, that's how people was getting away with the stuff they was getting away with. And at some point, it it clicked to me. <laughs> I said, bro, you're like a fucking mouse in a maze right now as you fucking slow, bro. You didn't pick this up? And I, you know, I be playing with when I be talking to myself like that, just like when I talk to other people. It might seem disrespectful if y'all don't know me. But if you know me, you know that shit don't mean nothing. So... I'm like, yo, is you fucking stupid, bro? Is you slow? Like, you don't see? This shit is a fucking... It's like... It's like a dome over New Jersey when it comes to you. Someone has placed some type of energy over this area where people with your kind of energy will be... It's like a bounty on your head. And you because you are in this area, they kind of think that you're going to stay there. That's the point of it all. To have you gone through so much that you actually just stay there in that state and just, you know, try to maneuver the state in itself. And... I couldn't figure out if it if it was like magic or something, but I know just like when I go, like it's certain places, like I could just feel the energy basically. It's certain places you go to and you feel the energy. Like when I, after I moved out of Newark in 2010, Newark East Orange area, I, um, I moved to Willingboro and... Basically, that's Burlington County. So I went from Essex County to Burlington County. And the energy shift was so crazy. Right? It was so peaceful there. I'm listening to the crickets now instead of the sirens. And at first it bothered me because I'm like, damn, I miss them sirens. I miss the horns. I miss <laughs> the, the lights that keep passing by my window in the middle of the night like, I miss people being outside, blasting music all night, like playing shit that I fuck with. And me being able to blast my music that I like and it not bother people. <laughs> I don't know. And so I say all of this to say, once I figured that out, and uh, I didn't really make a move on it right away. But it was in my it was in my mind constantly, like, bro, something up with this shit. And I feel like it's like that in a lot of urban areas. I I'm serious. Cause I see the trap that a lot of us are in in these urban areas. And it's definitely like a maze because even, you know, when I told y'all about how I dipped off on whoever that person was that was following me from high school, 
Like, that's one thing I love about the projects. If you ain't from here, you don't know this shit, right? <laughs> so you try to come over here and do shit. You don't know the cuts. You don't know who I know. And it's weird <laughs> that even in that feeling, like feeling safe in that environment, looking at it from a different perspective, you felt safe because you knew the routes, you knew everything about it. So if anybody tried to step on your turf, you know what it is on your turf. You know what it's, you know, home base at, right? And you got plenty of secret home bases and you got plenty of secret routes, tunnels and shit. We like literally fucking mice when it comes to the projects. So you can't go to the projects as, you know, a cat. Because we all going nowhere and how. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, I ended up seeing that when I moved out of the state, mind you, I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about that whole idea of this uh, dome over New Jersey when it came to me. I wasn't thinking this for everybody at the time. I was just focused on myself. Like, yo, bro, this seeming like some main shit for real. Like, it's like the projects on a bigger scale. <laughs> and so when I did leave, I left because I was just like, it's either you're going to spaz out or you're going to just go ahead because that's it. <laughs> That's it. So, like, it kind of got to that point. Like, because it was at a point where people was cutting my screen window, trying to get in in the middle of the night, um, trying to take the screws off my back door so they could get in. Like, so I'm sitting up on the steps, watching windows with my shit in my hand all night. Like, bro, I don't got time for this shit because try it. I'm not going to be playing with you. I'm really not going to be playing with you. Like, I done went through so much in my life from childhood all the way up to having kids. And then what happened after having kids with niggas being weak and dumb, insecure, jealous of a female with ambition in class and gifts that can't be explained they can't beat it out you they can't stalk it out you they can't lie it out you nigga said you gonna do it she gonna do what she wanna do anyway you right you fucking right I'm glad you finally figured that out you might as well go on and take a nap please like and once I moved, it's what God wanted me to tell y'all about after the whole pack story. <laughs> once I did move, um, all my money came in. All the money that I had accumulated that was being held up and blocked because of whatever energy was in New Jersey and all of the fucking distractions and moving and all that shit. Couldn't focus on my shit. Because I got to focus on trying to protect my shit before I can fucking build my shit. Right? So, yeah. That's when that um, Money Good song came out <clears throat> by Megan Thee Stallion. And it was definitely the anthem. Like, it still is. I love that shit. I just feel like maybe somebody else is feeling that way. Maybe somebody else. Mm, look at that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to tell them it's probably some type of dome over that shit wherever they live at. They need to fucking leave, bro. 
They need to leave. If you're seeing that it's all types of stuff just distracting you, holding you back from your path, it's stuff that you're passionate about, things you want to do, things you've been planning on doing, things you already got mapped out, just leave. And a lot of the times, you know, since I've moved so many times, 10, 10, a lot of the times, the best times, and even my kids say it, they like, Ma, we didn't even know we was going through such and such and such because we always had fun. Like when we would leave and move out, I always made it fun. It was like a vacation. It was like, yes, let's look, we'll see where we want to move to type shit. It was never like, oh, this is what we're going through. These people is doing this to us, da, 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 da. It was always a good time. And I noticed that when I try to plan things out and try to get things arranged, something else always come in and, and fuck up what I'm already trying to do. So I just hop up and do it. Just done. Just go do it. And look, a year, eleven, eleven, a year and some change. What's this? November. Oh, that's one, one, one. Okay, a year and 11 months. I've been (laughs) out of that dome, bro. And I'm not in another one. (laughs) And that is what matters. That's why none of these neighbors, none of these people, nobody going to get under my skin. I don't care because I already know where I came from. I'm not doing that shit no more. None of it. So, had to share that. And also, God wanted me to give a shout out to 180 Turning Lives Around for having cameras, video recorders, 1212, in the bathrooms and in our rooms. Yeah, that was a shelter for domestic violence. It's actually a mansion. They they actually have a really nice place. Elevators, bathrooms in your bedroom, real nice. Real nice, like six stove kitchens, the big like non-burner ones. It's real cute, real cute, real cute. But they treat you like trash. They record you, they listen to you while you're in your room, having private conversations, and then they have the nerve to repeat what you say when you come out for for dinner and everything like that. Or when you come out to take your kids to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to put that smile on and and repeat things you say. Mm -hmm. And then then they want you to flip the fuck out and say how you know what the fuck I said when I was in there. You feel me? Which is what I did. <laughs> How the fuck you know what I was saying on the phone to my mother? Hmm? Word for word? I was in the bathroom. Invasion of privacy. That's a problem. Yeah. 1333. That's a very big problem. And the fact that they pick and choose who they're going to um, send the information over to the apartment complexes that accepts women who are dealing with domestic violence to give them a new start. Yeah, they pick and choose who they're going to give it to. And the lady was Hispanic. Her name was Isabella. She was the, run, the one who was running the place. And she would only allow the Hispanic women that was from Puerto Rico that, you know, there was... This one Puerto Rican girl, they gave her a really nice place. And they even, like, got her into school for to become an RN because she was an RN in Puerto Rico. But it kind of, I think it don't switch over. She had to do everything over here. So they got her all hooked up. Got her all hooked up. And me and her was cool. 
So she told me about it. She was like, just tell them this is where you want to go, like where I'm going or somewhere like where I'm going. She shows me the place and everything. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I go have my little one-on-one with the ones that they supposed to have set for me to speak to so we could plan what we're going to do because you only got, what, 45 days there? Really 30 days, but they'll give you an extra 15 days if you don't got nowhere to go, which is really weird to me because if you're blocking where I'm going to... If you're blocking people from being able to get out of there and you're stalking them and also threatening to take their children from them because they speak up to you, saying you're going to call DIFUS and have the children taken away because your attitude... The way you're, you're you're accusing us of things, you understand? So it's like you speak up for yourself. Now they're going to say, okay, since you're in my facility, we could take your kids from you. We know what you're saying on the phone to your mom. Yeah. And when I went to go ask about it, they told me, well, one the one lady told me it was no such thing. They don't have stuff like that. You got to look for yourself, da, da, da. And I said, no, that's not true because Shorty just showed me. So let's not play these games. Then they give me a play. Oh, oh, I think. Oh, now I understand. Yeah, I think I have this one left. Show me the one. And it's the projects. But Shorty living in a condo, but you putting me in the projects. All right. They did the application for that, but they didn't put the application in for me. They ended up telling me that I had to leave, that my time was up because it got to the 45-day line. And I just want to give them a shout out because now I know exactly how I want to run my domestic violence shelter. Now I know what kind of employees need to be there and not need to be there. And now I also know because I am the owner, I need to be on site at all times. I need to have these one-on-ones with these people. And I need to vet the people that's going to be working with the people that I am helping heal. And I like the way y'all had that shit set up. That shit ate a lot. Nice. My shit going to be better. Nicer. Yeah. So I think that was all we had to share today, right, God? Okay. Yeah, that's it.